Animals are f***ing insane. For instance, what do you think is the farthest an animal's ever flown in a single flight? A few hundred miles, maybe? How about 4,400 miles? This is the Pantala flavescens, a dragonfly that's found in Texas and Canada, Japan, India, and South Korea. And when I say it's found there, I mean this exact species. Scientists just found out that the genetic profiles of the Pantala are so similar across these different countries that there is only one likely explanation. They are flying to different continents to get laid. And I respect the hell out of that. Here's what's even more insane. They're probably doing almost all of it in a single trip. See, they have increased surface area on their wings in comparison to other dragonflies that let them just glide on the wind for long periods. Researchers say it is probably a suicide mission for most of them, but they need to migrate away from dry weather in one continent to moist weather in another in order to reproduce. There is probably a joke with moist and mating in there, and if it's cool with everyone, I just not, I'm not gonna go there if that's all right. Now, we haven't actually observed the Pantala making, say, a Texas to Japan migration, but we've seen other types of dragonflies crossing the Indian Ocean from Asia to Africa, so this is a pretty believable theory. And that would mean that the Pantala travels farther every year than the previous gold medal insect migrator, the monarch butterfly, which makes a yearly migration back and forth across North America 2,500 miles miles each way. Each leg of the trip takes six months though, which means an average single flight segment of 13.8 miles. Plus, the average lifespan for a monarch is only two months, so a single monarch doesn't even make the whole distance. And that means the Pantala is way ahead. Now, it is impressive for an insect, but it's nowhere near the longest flying migration in the animal kingdom. The Arctic Tern holds that record. It travels up to 400 miles a day, 44,000 miles in a year, which means they almost circumnavigate the Earth twice every year. If I'm in an airplane for more than four hours, the flight crew has to sedate me, forcibly. Now, babies like me aside, humans obviously blow all other animal flight migration records out of the water. Let's talk about the Apollo 13 crew. They slingshotted around the moon at 248,655 miles away from the Earth, meaning a total travel of 497,310 miles in a single trip. Valery Polyakov, world record holder for the longest single space flight, was on the Mir space station for 437 7.7 days. Mir orbited the Earth 15.7 times a day at an average speed of 17,200 miles an hour, meaning Valerie migrated 180,682,560 miles in a single trip. Suck it, other animals! Humans rule the skies! I kind of can't believe that I'm so insecure that I had to shit on the accomplishments of a dragonfly. You know, the longest I've ever traveled in a single flight is 5,700 miles. What is the furthest you've ever flown? And what's the furthest you've ever flown to get laid? Let me know. Also, if you like this, please subscribe. And if you'd like to see me do more videos and get yourself some extra stuff as well, head to patreon.com slash acarboni to find out how.